Hello, my name is Emma and in today's video I'm going to teach you about vocabulary and also a little bit about um, Western culture. So there are some words that people are using a lot these days. You see these words in the news, you see them in if you go to school, you see them uh, even at your doctor's office. And so we're going to talk about some of these words. So a lot of these words are about problems people are having in their life. So I'm going to teach you about these problem words and also solution words that you hear a lot. So let's get started. The first word I hear a lot is the word swamped. You hear people in conversation say, oh, I'm so swamped. Uh, I have so much to do. I'm swamped. So what does it mean to be swamped? If you are swamped, it means you have too much going on. You have too much work to do. So imagine you have a lot of work and somebody calls you and says, do you want to go see a movie? You might hear someone say, I can't, I'm swamped, meaning I have too much to do. Another word people are hearing a lot these days is the word burn out. Burn out. So you'll hear people say, I burned out at my last job. Or uh, Mary is suffering from burnout. People are burning out nowadays, more than in the past. You hear people say things like this. So what does it mean to burn out? Burnout means when you are working too much, so you have too much work, and you have a lot of stress, and you feel this every single day to the point that your health starts to be affected. So work is making you sick. We call that burnout because there's too much stress at work and too many expectations at work. So that's known as burnout. Okay, another word you hear people saying a lot these days is, I'm stressed out. Stressed out. So stress is a type of anxiety or worry. When you feel stress, you feel pressure. I'll give you an example. Think about before an exam or a big presentation. Your heart is beating. You're very nervous. You might feel sick in your stomach. Those are feelings of stress. So people who feel a lot of anxiety, they can say, I'm stressed out. Um, and here's my example. I'm stressed out because I have an exam. I'm stressed out because my boss is not nice. So again, the words that, oh, and there's, sorry, there's one more. Overworked. So I hear this word a lot nowadays as well. Over means too much. And then we have the word worked, which means work, you're doing work. So overworked means too much work. So maybe somebody is working 80 hours a week. We can say they are overworked. They work too much. So you hear these words a lot in our culture. People frequently talk about being swamped. They talk about burning out. They talk about being stressed out. And they talk about being overworked. So I also wanted to talk about um, some things we talk a lot about in our culture, and that's what the solution is to these problems. So when I talk about solution, I'm talking about what people in the media, in the news, maybe what some doctors are saying, what journalists are saying are the solutions to being swamped, burnt out, stressed, or overworked. So a question people might ask you is, how do you cope with stress? So cope is an important word. It means how do you handle stress? How do you deal with stress? So for example, some people cope with stress by breathing, taking deep breaths. 
So I can say, I cope with stress by breathing deeply. Some people might cope with stress by writing down their feelings. These are different ways to cope. So my question to you is, how do you cope with stress? Now let's look at some other common vocabulary people are saying nowadays about how to solve problems with stress. So another word you will hear a lot in the culture right now is the word mindfulness. Maybe you've seen this word before, mindfulness. What is mindfulness? Well, it means different things to different people, but in general, it's the idea of where to focus. You focus your mind on the present. So the idea is that some people focus too much on the past, some people focus too much on the future, but according to mindfulness, it's very healthy to think about what's happening now and to be focused on the present. So this might be thinking about your senses. You know, what are you seeing right now? What are you hearing? Uh, you know, how do you feel at this moment? And not worrying about the future and not worrying about the past, but just being in the present, in the here and now. So I see this word a lot nowadays. I see it in newspapers. I see it online. I see it uh, even walking down the street. I see posters of uh, mindfulness seminars or, you know, things to do with mindfulness. So I think it's a very important word to know. And again, here is one aspect of mindfulness. People might recommend you focus on your senses, like your sense of hearing or your sense of smell. Um, so this word is a noun. The way we use it is um, often, or it can actually be an adjective too. We might talk about a mindfulness seminar. Uh, you know, we might tell somebody to be more mindful if, if we're um, using it more in an adjective sense. Another word we use a lot nowadays is resilience. So this might be hard for some people to pronounce. So let me say it slowly. Resilience. Resilience. Okay. So what is resilience? Well, resilience is one of the solutions to burnout, to having, um, being overworked, uh, to feeling stressed and swamped all the time. Some people believe that it's good to become resilient. Resilient means when you have bad things happen in your life, you learn how to be strong and you are strong. So I'll give you an example of a very resilient person I know, my grandmother. My grandmother broke both her hips and she also had a stroke, but she's very resilient. So this means that even though bad things happen to her, every day she wakes up and she is able to smile and live her day. And, and um, even though she has challenges, she's very strong. So that's what I mean by resilient. Do you know anyone who is resilient? Someone who is able to be strong when bad things happen? Maybe it's a family member, maybe it's you, or maybe it's a friend. So nowadays we talk a lot about the word resilient, which is how we describe a person. She is resilient, he is resilient. And we have the word resilience, which is the noun. So here are two examples. I want to be resilient. I want to build resilience. So in this case, resilience is the noun. Resilient is the adjective. So, all of these words I've talked about today, you will probably see on social media, um, online, uh, in, on news sites. So they're very good to know and to understand because these words really are telling us a lot about our culture today. People feel very stressed and, and burnt out and people want solutions. So this is what the culture looks like and these are the words people are using to talk about these issues. 
So thank you for watching this video. I would like to invite you to check out our website at www.ingvid.com and there you can actually do a quiz to make sure you understand all the words we've covered today and to practice. I'd also like to invite you to subscribe to our channel. There, um, make sure you ring the bell. You can find a lot of other videos on all sorts of subjects, including reading, listening, pronunciation, um, and much more. Uh, so thank you so much for watching. I hope you are not swamped. I hope you're not overworked and I hope you have the most amazing day. So thank you for watching and take care.